I'm excited to tell you about this course. It's one that I think many of you need, but whether or not you want it is another question. And I would actually be really curious as I talk through this, whether or not you want it and whether you understand that you need it or not. Okay, I look forward to your comments on this. So what is it? Well, it's a course about how to get more clients. Specifically, the course is called Authentic Outreach, Joyful and Honest Methods to Keep Your Client Roster Full. So that's the aim of the course. And I can say this because I've had a full client roster since 2016. All the way from then until now, the waiting list has just kept growing. And it's been full client roster year by year. So I'm really grateful for that. And I am here to teach you my best strategies for it. And not only that, I'm really excited to form a community of practitioners for those who join the course. It's a community of practitioners to continue improving on how we do our authentic outreach so that it, number one, is very effective for actually getting people interested in our work. And number two, it feels good as we do it. We actually enjoy it. So this is where I, what I mean when I say a lot of you need it, but not necessarily want it, because first of all, getting more clients, getting enough clients, I don't think is natural to a lot of us. If you're watching this, you probably are among the many of us who would love to have more clients, probably don't have a waiting list. Or if we sometimes have a waiting list, it's not consistently a waiting list. We're shy about selling. You know, it's just not something we enjoy doing in large part. Why are we, why do we retreat and avoid selling? Why do we, why do we do that? Why do we, because, okay, if we, if we don't sell, have you noticed that you don't get any clients? If you don't sell, you probably don't have enough clients because you don't know how to sell. But we retreat from the idea of selling because we see how so many other marketers or um, aggressive people do it. And it feels ungraceful to us, maybe a little cheesy and sometimes quite manipulative also that we may experience it. And so because we have experienced the unskillful ways that many people sell, we avoid it and we get attached to a fantasy that you build it and they will come. Have you heard that phrase? Just build it and they will come. Really? Have you noticed that they don't come after you've built it? <laughs> right? And, so, and sometimes we uh, continue this fantasy. We try to be productive. So we say, well, G George talks a lot about creating content. So I'm just gonna create content with the trust that if I just create content, then people will see how good I am, how smart I am, or how helpful I am, and how much of a match it is I am for them. And they'll just inquire to, to hire me as a, you know, as a service provider. Have you noticed that just because you, those of you who are consistent in creating content, congratulations, that's a wonderful first step. But have you noticed that even when you do so, you still might not have enough clients? You're wondering, George, I thought you just create content and get, no, that's not how it works. I'm sorry if I didn't clarify that to you. Well, I, I never said you create content, and you'll get all the clients you want. I Please find where I say that because I, I need to edit. I don't think I've ever said that. What I always say is that creating content is this Venn diagram between public journaling and exploration of your skills and your passions and values and your voice on the one hand, and service to humanity on the other hand. I always talk about that Venn diagram of what creating content is about. And so creating content, what it does is it brings you a greater reach. It brings you greater reach in having more people willing to give you attention now because attention is the greatest asset that anyone can give you, essentially their time and their attention, right? Because once you have someone's time, attention and their time, essentially, then you can invite them into your service, your product, program, event, 
et cetera. Without their attention, you, it's not even possible to sell. But with attention, then you have the opportunity to actually sell. I'm going to put sell in quotes. I know it's going to trigger a lot of you. I, I invite you to use your self-regulation practices. Whenever you hear the word selling, sales, sell, take a deep breath. All I mean is the authentic invitation into our work. But creating content doesn't get you clients. Let's be real clear about that. It gets you attention. And then with the attention, you can then decide, well, how am I going to invite them into my work? So that's what this upcoming course is about. How do you consistently invite the people whose attention you have into your work? Right. That's why I'm excited about it, because I think a lot of you are now in the process of creating consistently. Now you're in the process of getting more reach. Oh, one more thing, creating content, especially authentic content. If it's authentic, the way I talk, talk about how to create content, and if it's consistent, if it's authentic and if it's consistent, then you create trust. Not only do you create reach, you get more people, but you also create trust that the people um, are willing to listen to you right? They're, they're, they're willing to believe you. So you create trust. But now the question is, what do you do with that attention and that trust? You invite them, the right people anyway, into your work. So this next course is all about, so, so again, do you need clients? Would you like more clients? Would you like a waiting list of clients? If yes, then that's what I've designed this next course to be about, to specific strategies and a plan, not just in a very general sense of, oh, overall business strategies, but specific things you're going to be doing on a regular basis to actually generate people interested in your work and inquiring to say, how can I hire you? How can I join your service? How can I join your program or hire you as a service provider? So if that if you need clients, this is my course for you. This is the one course that I recommend to everybody who needs clients that would like to learn from me. So what are we gonna do in this course? Let me go ahead and explain what this course is going to cover. The first part of the course, very important, we shift our mindset and our heart set about selling. I put that in quotes because many of you are not comfortable with that idea and we're gonna shift our mindset about selling. So by the end of the first part, you'll, you'll have a different relationship whenever you think about this idea of getting clients, selling. You'll actually, this is my aim, by the end of the first part, you actually look forward to selling. Can you believe it? <laughs> can you actually believe looking forward to the process of selling because you can see yourself enjoying the process of connecting with your heart? and serving the other without attachment and doing it from your own values and your own style. I'm not going to give you templates to copy paste. Sure, you're going to get some suggested ideas that you can then modify to your own voice, but it's so important. And that's what I'm going to teach you in this course, how to generate your own sales messages, your own way of inviting people with whom you have attention into your work. So part one, how to shift our mind and heart in regards to getting clients, getting more than enough clients and doing the process of selling. Very important. They'll just shift your perspective going forward. It's going to be very valuable just as, as the process of doing that. And then the second part, we're going to talk about the several effective ways that I use, that I help my clients use on a regular basis to generate client interest, to get people interested in your work. So we will talk about how do, you, how do you announce your work to your people, to your network, to the people that you have that are giving you their attention. How do you announce it? How do you announce it regularly? How do you do it in a way that's gentle, that's service-oriented, that's unattached, that is your own style and values? And you're also, you're going to see other people in this course doing it from their own style and with the diversity of different styles and voices 
you'll come to see the possibilities of what your voice and your style can be. I think it's really helpful to actually see these examples side by side. And so again, I, like I said in the beginning, I think I'm I part of what I'm why I'm excited about this is not only because I think a lot of you need it. So I'm excited to actually get walk you through the process step by step, you know, together in our five weeks together. But number two, I'm excited to have this ongoing community of practitioners. This is not just a five week course. It's an ongoing community of practitioners. I mean, in terms of the discussion, the discussions will just keep going as people join the course in the future. They will keep commenting on the course lessons and you can always keep returning and commenting and I will be seeing them. I'll be engaging with them and others will be engaging with them. So it'll be an ongoing discussion as you see people improve their ways of quote unquote selling or getting clients. Okay, so we'll talk about how to announce it to your network. We'll talk about how to invite referrals so you'll actually have a plan and a, and a very clear step-by-step -step method to invite people, your uh, the, the support of people in your life and in your business to give you referrals, your past clients, current clients, your friends, colleagues, et cetera. Okay, so how to invite referrals. Number three, how do you collaborate with other colleagues to give you clients? So we'll talk very clearly about that. And not only will we talk about it, we'll actually practice it with one another in the course. Now, there's no requirement. You don't have to do anything for anyone, but it's actually the, the opportunity will be there for you to connect with others, for you to step forward and say, yes, I would like to practice with, with you all on this. So you'll, you'll, you'll get the chance to practice collaborating in order to get new clients. So I'm excited. Um, yeah, the, the people you probably know, the people I attract to me tend to be more heart-based, more values-based, more spiritual. I think you'll enjoy the people that are in this course. Okay. And number four, we will talk about how to do what I call an FTA webinar. Let me explain this. FTA stands for free to attend. Now you might say, well, George, why are you saying free to attend? Why not just say free webinar? It's because it's not a free webinar. It's a free to attend webinar, but it has a paid recording for those who want to buy, who cannot attend and want to buy the recording later. Let me say that again. Instead of doing free webinars, you announce it as a free to attend. So people who can, you know, you, you do it at a time that's convenient for you. It's just a single hour, maybe 90 minutes at a time that's convenient for you. You don't have to bend over backwards for anybody else. A time that's convenient for you. And then you announce it, people show up if they want it for free or they can buy it later at a you know, relatively low cost. We could talk about the pricing in the course as well. This is such, I've done this for years and I've had clients do this very successfully. It is such a great way to generate client interest because the people who are interested in the topics that you talk about will show up you will, you'll teach a useful webinar, and then you'll mention your service at the end for people who want, as a service, as an act of convenience, as, a, as an act of how do you go deeper with this, right? At the end, you, you'll talk about your service. Anyway, so we'll talk about the strategy of FTA webinar. How do you do it? How do you talk about your service at the, at the end, of course? And so we'll talk about these different ways of generating interest in your service, in your program. Okay. And then next, the next part is once you get people inquiring with you, how do you actually talk to them? So we'll talk about how to do an authentic discovery call, authentic exploratory call with potential clients. This is the way I do it is very different. You, you know, if you've ever learned how to do discovery calls, you'll probably get a script. Usually they give you some kind of a script. And you know, if you've tried the script, it sounds fake. It doesn't sound like you. Well, it can't be because it's a script. And you're like trying to move people through certain emotions and you're trying to make sure you ask certain questions that are going to make them think a certain way about, you know, you and your service. That all, because I've done it, I've, I've been very good at it in the past. And like, no, this, is, this does not feel right. And I'm not building the kind of relationship I want with my prospective clients. So I came up with a different way of doing it. A much more authentic way. It's the way I use. I've used it since for years, since you know, 20. I, I, I started pioneering this in 2014, 2015. And then it's 
gone really well since then. So authentic discovery calls, you'll learn how to do it. You'll get practice with others in this course. Like I said, I think that's one of the most exciting parts for me of this course is not only going to learn stuff, but you're going to have other people to practice with authentic discovery calls. Okay. And then finally, at the, by the end of the course, you will emerge with a consistent plan for doing these kinds of client getting activities going forward. Again, let me, let me just be really, really clear about this. Just posting content is probably not going to get you enough clients. <laughs> Have you noticed, right? Just doing content, running ads to distribute your content, probably not going to get you enough clients. You'll have to be doing other activities. I call them enrollment, or I'm going to introduce a term here. A lot of you don't understand. The term is gentle launches. Don't worry if you don't understand it. That's just my lingo. A gentle launch is these activities of announcing your your one to one client services. This is talk. I'm talking about getting private clients here. I'm not talking about filling a large course or an, a retreat or whatever. You could actually use what I teach you in this course to fill a small group program. So if you want to do a mastermind or a small group program of up to 12, let's say 12 members in your, in your group, you, you'll, this course is for you as well. But this course is not for you if you're trying to fill an online course of 30, 50, 100 people. I have a separate course for that called Course Launches. This course is about doing gentle launches to get one-to-one -one individual private clients. So you can have a full roster of how many clients do you want, by the way? Do you want 10 clients a week? Do you want 20 clients a week? 20 clients a month? Whatever you, whatever it is, that's the purpose of this course. A step-by-step -step consistent plan for filling the client roster and having a waiting list. So that you can, once you have a waiting list, refer clients to other people in this course, right? And other people in this course will have a waiting list and they'll refer clients to you as well. So We'll learn how to, how to do all these things so we can generate a full client roster and a waiting list. Um, now, I, I have to be clear. I'm, well, I'm not promising, of course, you know, as you, if, you, if you know my content, you know, I, I don't think it's ethical to promise results. Anyone who's promising you results, they're lying to you, frankly, because how do they know what you're going to do with it, right? How do they know what you're going to do with the advice that they give you or the plan that they give you? Nobody can control you. You have free will. You get to do whatever you want. And you do it. Everybody does it at a different level of skillfulness. Of course, we'll talk in this course about how to become more skillful at this stuff. So um, what I can promise you is that by the end of this course, you'll be far clearer about a consistent plan for getting enough clients, not just posting content, not just posting content. Market research is good. But we're, we're going to talk beyond market research to actually announcing our services consistently, getting referrals, doing FTA webinars if you choose to do so, how to collaborate with others, colleagues and friends to get you enough clients. So we'll talk about these kinds of things. And here's my final promise. You won't have to do anything in this course that isn't aligned with your values and your style. This course is called Authentic Outreach. It has to ultimately be feel authentic and enjoyable to you. So that's a big part of the, a big sort of framing of this course throughout the whole thing. You're going to continue describing or customizing. And we'll, we'll have discussions around this. How do you customize these things to your voice, to your style, to your personality, to the way that you relate to your audience? So I hope that this is clear. I am really excited to walk these things through with you and watch you grow and blossom with applying these things to get enough clients. I'm excited to have you see the others in the course and see if you want to collaborate and practice with them as well. So if this sounds like something you both need and want, then I hope you'll join us. The link should be in the notes of the video, whether above or below, depending on where you're watching this. But if you're, if you're trying to find it, uh, it's georgecow.com slash outreach georgecow.com slash outreach. So um, maybe I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Thanks.